Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day for July 26th. Our readings are 2 Samuel chapter 12, Jeremiah chapter 16 and Matthew chapter 27. And our thought is, he changed his mind. It is good to change your mind when you contemplate doing something bad, but but you must do it before it is too late. We read in Matthew's Gospel that Judas Iscariot changed his mind, chapter 27 and verse 3, but it was too late. He brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood, verse 4. They answered Judas with contempt, What is that to us? Why was Judas so blind to what he was doing? John 12 and verse 6 gives us a clue. John tells us he was the thief and having charge of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Today, people might say to themselves, I'll just take a little bit of commission. You know, human nature excels in justifying wrongdoing. What marvellous experiences Judas had had We read in Matthew chapter 12 how Jesus sent out the twelve, and that included Judas, to perform healings and to preach the message of the kingdom, verses 7 and 8. How often did they try to arrest Jesus? John records, again they tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their hands, John 10 and verse 39. At Nazareth, they brought him to the brow of the hill, so that they could throw him down the cliff. But passing through their midst, he went away. Luke chapter 4, verse 29 and 30. So would not Judas, with such a covetous human mind, reason, I can make a pot of money out of these Pharisees? For the master is sure to escape from them as he has in the past. Judas believed he could serve both God and money. Judas was blind to the all-seeing eye of God. Of course he would say he believed in God, but his vision was narrow. And how many are like that today? The more power we have, the more danger of self-importance and self-centeredness creeping into our attitudes. We have an outstanding example of this in our second Samuel reading today. Nathan the prophet came to David with a story about a rich man and a poor man. And the poor man had one little ewe lamb. We should know this event well. What a shock David had when the prophet said, You are the man. Many blessings David had received had blinded him to his own behaviour. There is a similarity with Judas. But in Judas' mind, it had become an ingrained way of thinking. In the end, he changed his mind, but it was too late. And us? We must each ask ourselves, is there anything I could change in my way of thinking and resultant attitudes and actions before it is too late? How meaningful are David's words, which we rather think were written in the maturity of his life? Search me, O God and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. May that also be our prayer. The Psalm 139. Thank you for joining us once again for Thought for the Day. And we pray that your mind will be ingrained with the Word of God as you walk towards his kingdom. God bless. Mm